Okay, joining us right now uh, to talk more about the market, Stephanie Link, Chief Investment Strategist and Portfolio Manager at Hightower Advisors. Of course, she's also a CNBC contributor. And um, ahead of these earnings reports, especially as we, we already saw a move in a lot of the big tech companies, I'm curious how you're thinking about positioning yourself. Yeah, so good morning. Um, first and foremost, I think earnings have really been great. <laughs> Only 25% of the companies have reported so far in the S&P 500, but they're beating by 18%. And it's very broad-based, and guidance has been really good. But to your point, the reactions have been pretty tepid so far. That gives you an opportunity, Andrew. When you have better-than-expected numbers, you have numbers going higher, but the stocks don't react, that's called value creation, and you can buy stocks that you don't have to pay up for. So let's watch this week, because between Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and Amazon, that's 24% of the S&P 500. And we know these numbers are going to be terrific. We know that digital advertising is recovering. Twitter and Snap told us that. Travel search is really going to rebound. We know that. Um, 5G, just beginning. Cloud is on fire. Retail e-commerce. So all of these things are very much in favor for these companies. The problem is, to your point, all these stocks have had a nice run. I mean, Microsoft's up 28% year to date. Alphabet's up 57%. Facebook up 35%. So it's going to be a tough bar. I think the expectations are actually a little bit lower for Apple, which is only up about 12%, and Amazon. And so those are the two that actually I still remain pretty, um, pretty constructive on. In terms of the move that we saw last week, how much do you, in some of the consumer tech, how much of that do you think is a function of just some of the numbers that we did see out of the few companies that did report versus what some people are describing as uh, a sort of Delta variant move, which is to say that, uh, you know, yeah. as folks get more anxious about that, maybe they pile back into tech. Absolutely. I think that's absolutely what's happening. And it started in mid-May. You had, you know, value had outperformed growth by 12 percent from January to mid-May. Then mid-May came. We started worrying about the Delta variant and interest rates and that sort of thing. And you got right back into the growth trade. And so that absolutely is part of it at this point. But that means expectations are really quite high into the prints. I would say I would highlight right. Caterpillar this week. They report on Friday because let's see if they can beat do people start to get more constructive again on the cyclical st right. stocks? Stephanie, you know, we talk to Dr. Scott Gottlieb virtually daily about the Delta variant and, and, and COVID, um, and we listen to him for the health, the health aspect of it. But I, I'm curious how you think the market is thinking uh, about the Delta variant and whether, whether irrespective of, of what happens in various states around, around laws and masking and, and the like, whether you think that there's going to be a behavioral change this fall, meaning what's baked into the cake. Uh, I think about New York and I think about Broadway is supposed to be starting back up again. And I wonder, uh, you know, what that really is going to look like. It's absolutely a worry point, and it's an unknown. And you know the market doesn't like unknowns, right? And I think this is a lot of the reason why interest rates are where they are, because we just don't know what's going to happen with Delta, what's going to happen with China, with global growth, with the Fed. There's a lot of uncertainties. And so that's why I think you have seen kind of a reversion back into growth, right? Because if you have low growth, uh, you're going to want to own growth stocks, right? And I think that's right. really what's happening here. But let's, let's listen to what the companies have to say. As I said early on, earnings have been very broad-based, very impressive. Guidance is going up across the board, cyclicals and non-cyclicals. Right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.